Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Set Up Your Scientific Computing Environment series. In this video, we want to start to install programs on our Linux distribution. So let's go. Okay, in uh, previous uh, episodes, I, I showed you how to install the Ubuntu distribution inside a virtual machine. So we start our distribution, we start our virtual machine, sorry. And yeah, in this video, as the, you know, this is indeed the first video that we want to talk about installing programs, we want to go for the simplest form of installation inside uh, Linux and inside Linux distributions, in this case Ubuntu, which is indeed using uh, package managers. And using package managers, uh, the installation process will be very similar to, for example, what it is in uh, Windows operating system, if you are familiar with that. And uh, yeah, I can even say that it's, yeah, it's simpler, even it's simpler than, uh, than the installation process in Windows. Uh, let me show you. For that purpose, I want to install first one of the, you know, one of the best uh, scientific computing programs available in the open source world, which is indeed uh, GNU Octave. GNU Octave is an open source alternative to MATLAB, so if you want to yeah, if you don't need specific functionality of, you know, a, a very specific uh, toolbox in MATLAB, GNU Active can do whatever MATLAB does. And uh, yeah, for, for the start, we want to install that using, you know, the, the, the traditional way of installing things using package managers. And then we will go on and install more things using this. So uh, let me show you. Uh, so we start our terminal. Uh, the, the thing is, the package managers, there are a wide variety of uh, different package managers in Linux and in Linux distributions. In Ubuntu, the, the most famous package managers is APT, APT, which uh, you should indeed run it with it as you do, because you should run it as the, as the super user, as the root, SU is super user, so super user does as you do. And you have to run it with sudo, and then uh, you say that apt, I think apt stands for advanced packaging tool or something like this. There are, you know, this is the main command, and then there are others, lots of other switches. In this case, we want to say that it's install, but it has also remove, and it has query, like search, and other stuff. In this case, we want to install something. And then the name of the package. You know, this is as simple as this, but the, uh, you know, the, the issue is why, why, you know, why we don't install everything using this uh, technique? The reason is sometimes the, uh, you know, the repositories out of which these package managers uh, obtain the, the source files, obtain the installation files and install that, are somehow outdated in some rare cases. And for, for own, for our main purpose, which is in which is indeed installing scientific computing libraries that is developed by you know by scientists all around the world, this is more probable that these uh, repositories are updated. So we go for other installation techniques. But if, for example, especially for daily usage of Linux, for daily tasks. This is indeed something you can always rely and install whatever you want. So let's go for this. And in this case, we want to install Octave. But uh, before doing that, let's go to the Octave uh, uh, website and see that, uh, for example, if we didn't know that uh, GNU Octave can be installed uh, using this technique, uh, how we should uh, get that. So this is indeed GNU Octave. I told you that it is indeed very similar to MATLAB. You can see that the syntax is very, very similar, or I can say it is almost the same. Uh, so I go to the download link, and here it says, uh, yeah, for, for, for GNU Linux, uh, it says go, it refers us to, to Octave Wiki. And let's see here. Okay, there are different instructions for, for different uh, Linux distributions. In this case, we want to install it on Ubuntu. 
Yeah, I told you, for, for different Linux distributions, there are different package managers, YOM, DNF, and lots of others. But it, this APD is, you know, this APD is the one that is really dominant on, on Ubuntu. So it says sudo, as you can see, apt, apt get and apt are more or less the same. apt get is a wrapper on apt, so it has some more commands and more user friendly commands. But for install, um, yeah, they are both the same. And as you can see, there are other packages. It says that you can type this command and octave. And in this case, uh, you see that uh, there is indeed, uh, you know, Another technique in some cases that, 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 for example, developers develop a new version of programs and they provide their own repository. And in, in these situations, you should add the repository. So you, you use apt add command to add the repository. In this case, they are saying the same. They, they are saying the same that uh, if you want to install, uh, you know, for example, the, the night builds or, you know, the, the development versions, you can use this. And this is also another useful command that's, uh, you know, I, I didn't cover that here, but uh, I don't want to talk about this, but maybe I can quickly say that, you know, when you say sudo apt update, it means that please update the repositories for me. And when I when I type it, you see that, uh, yeah, it starts to get the, uh, to get the, the, the repositories addresses and the new list of uh, programs for you. So this is indeed uh, how you can, uh, uh, get the latest addresses of things and also for if you change your locations it's always a good practice to you know update your repositories for example in this case you can see that yeah it, the, the lists the, the let's say the addresses the urls are for for belgium but for example imagine that i i, I can say that it's not imagination i'm, I'm currently in netherlands uh, and for the for the Netherlands, uh, I can update my repository source. So for doing that, uh, I have to go to the software and updates. This is indeed one of the Ubuntu settings, Ubuntu setting applets. And here you see that it says uh, that you download from server from Belgium. But uh, here I can change it and there is an option that says select the best server. And uh, yeah, it may text, it, it checks different, you know, different um, repository servers, different, different content providers. And uh, probably this will select one from, from Netherlands because yeah, it's, it usually selects something in a local, in a, a local server, I mean, inside a country usually has, has the best uh, performance for, for this kind of uh, download things. So when I change this uh, download server, uh, let me see, uh, oh, where, where is it? Yeah, this is indeed, you can see that these are in, in, in inside Netherlands. So it says that, yeah, this is this is one of the servers that is relatively fast at, the, at this moment. So I choose this server, it asks me for, for the uh, password and then, yeah, that's it. So this is indeed the, the selected server. And then it says that, uh, yeah, the list, list of uh, software packages is outdated and you can click reload here or alternatively I can uh, type sudo update and as you can see that the, 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 the speed is, is a bit faster. So, but it has to download all the uh, packages lists and um, uh, yeah, that's it. So after this, I should wait and yeah, after this I can go to install it, apd install, uh, sorry, install octave. Let's see what happens. And it says, yeah, four, 400 megabytes should be downloaded. And there are lots of other packages that, you know, this GNU Octave depends on. And uh, you can see the list of these packages and it says that, yeah, this, these packages should be also be installed. And this is indeed one of, the, one of the main advantages of using package managers that they automatically take care of these dependencies that are really, can be really a nightmare, especially in Linux systems. So this is indeed quite nice for us that it says, I will take care of this for you. So yeah, why not? I say yes, and then it starts to download. And you can see that yeah, the relative to the download speed is very fast because it's indeed uh, uh, something inside a country. So for 400 uh, megabyte was downloaded in less than 10 seconds. And then it starts to install the things, install all those packages. That are you know you can see that even uh, for for the quit 
uh, sorry, for the Qt uh, user interface library, it should be installed, some, you know, sort of uh, LaTeX programs also, and uh, also some, you know, basic uh, system tools. So after this, yeah, it's installed, and I can I, I can access Octave from you know from the from the uh, command line from the shells, or I can type Octave in my start menu, and you see, you see that it's here. So both are the same. This is this this is the you know getting started wizard, and then it asks for for, for a couple of things. I don't I don't want to report things, and then I finish. And you see that the user interface is very, very similar to what you have seen in MATLAB. So you can uh, run commands and then, uh, yeah, uh, it's very similar. So this is indeed uh, the way that you can use package managers. And you saw that how it's super easy, super easy to install programs on, uh, you know, on, on, uh, on Ubuntu using these package managers. And yeah, there are lots of other programs, almost, you know, almost all the programs that we will, we will discuss further, further on uh, can be installed using this technique, but we, we will cover more techniques in the future. So yeah, you can go around and install this Octave for you. And then you can, you, might, you can also check it, check it out and see the similarity of Octave and MATLAB if you already knew MATLAB. And then... Uh, yeah, try to try to refer to your favorite programs and you see that more or less most of them will have installation procedure to be installed using these package managers. So yeah, that's it. I want to I want to keep the videos short in this regard. But uh, uh, yeah, that's the reason that yeah, let's finish the pro finish the video here and then continue the rest of the setup processes for other programs in the in the next videos. So enjoy it and see you in next videos. Bye.